Hey folks, I'm uh, going to be doing a quick unboxing here of uh, the Fox Experiments. I uh, just got this in the mail today. Um, <clears throat> as you can see here, this is the Kickstarter edition. Um, so I did get all the, the bells and whistles, so to speak. So uh, this is the deluxe, if you want to call it, version. Um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and dive in. I did, so, oh, well, I'll show you. All right, so these punch boards were originally in the box and these are the cardboard components uh, that are replaced in the Kickstarter edition with the upgraded version so I just set these aside um, there are replacements for all these cardboard pieces in here uh, so we get a little uh, Kickstarter edition basically uh, what I want to call it a uh, reference sheet uh, that kind of shows you the upgraded versions versus what would come in standard which are all cardboard over here uh, then you get a little uh, little art print here, uh, just single sided that shows a fox. Uh, we have the rule book here, which is a total of thirty six pages. Yes, thirty six back pages, thirty six turn summary. Uh, it is glossy paper. Um, it is a large square book. Uh, seems to be pretty well put together in terms of how things work. Plenty of pictures and examples. Um, solo mode rules, uh, etc. Seems like a, a pretty decent rule book. <clears throat> uh, then we have the board. Uh, this is cardboard. Uh, it's not terribly large, just a four fold. Uh, and there are sides for uh, this is one to three or two to four players. And then on the other side are the five and six players. Uh, you can only play the game with. Four players the base game uh, you do have to get the five six player expansion in order to use this side uh, one thing to note is that my board um, I don't know if it's because how it was packed but it, it does not fit it only fits in here one way because the board is actually not square uh, at least my board is not so it only fits in here if I put it in this way um, if I try to rotate it around 180 degrees, it will not fit because, again, the board pieces are not square. Uh, so that's the board. Uh, we have a little uh, deck of promo cards here. Uh, we have a regular size deck of cards that uh, I have not opened yet. But let's go ahead and... If I can get my fingernail in there. There we go. Open those up. Uh, they're not linen finish, but they're decent cards. Uh, you're going to be uh, writing on these cards, so linen finish probably would not be a good choice for that. There's their uh, normal size cards. I'm going to call them normal size cards. Um, this deck of cards, the smaller deck of cards, does not have a pull tab on them. There, set those aside. Uh, same quality cards, looks like. Just fit down there. Um, this comes up to the very top of the well, so if you're going to sleeve these, they are not going to fit. Same with these, they're not going to fit if you sleeve them. Then we have two decks of these larger cards. Let's go ahead and... Well, one deck has a pull tab and the other deck does not. So let's have to open this up. Okay. Same quality cards. I guess these are the foxes themselves. And then looks like you have a player reference sheet or car, player reference cards under here. And then this other deck, which does have the pull tab. If I can get, if I can get it to pull up. There we go. And 
And these are the cards that you're going to write on. Uh, they have the X's and, and or they're, uh, they've got some kind of film over them. They're dry erase, basically dry erase cards. So you're going to be marking them up as you collect the foxes and breed them to get uh, the, the traits you desire. And here looks like a little score sheet. So those are those cards. Again, if you were to sleeve all these, they're not going to fit in this well. Then we have four dry erase markers. Uh, look like they're pretty standard. Uh, a bunch of dice here. So these are the upgrade. Again, this is the Kickstarter Deluxe Edition. So all the dice are upgraded. You have the red, the green, the blue, the purplish and the gold bronzish in bags uh, up here you have metal gear tokens i think these might be score trackers uh, you can hear from the clink they uh they are metal uh, and then we have a bunch of acrylic tokens for various uh, these are i think pieces you can save to sort of match up with the dice uh, for success results uh, and then we have the various fox colors here, red, blue, purple, and yellow. That's in that well. And then in this well, we have more acrylic tokens of the stars. We have the first, second, third, and fourth scoring tokens. Uh, these are some sort of other tokens that are round, have a fox tail on them. Uh, brown tokens that have... Fox ears, yeah, fox ears on them. And then uh, blue tokens that have a mouth, fox mouth on them. And red tokens that have, it has a plus on it, so I'm, not, I'm, I'm assuming this is some sort of blood, blood type, maybe. Uh, those are all acrylic with screen printed icons on them. Um, and that is, we'll go ahead and open up these promo cards and get them in there. Uh, looks like there are two of the smaller cards and one of, I'm guessing that's a person. So that looks like, yes, it looks like these cards. So it's another one of those. So we'll put that in there. And then uh, two more of the science cards. And that fits right on top there with that on top of that. And then we can put our board. I've just got to get, get, that's the way it goes in, and that fits, and then we can put the rules, the uh, art prints, and the Kickstarter edition component uh -huh. sheet, and that is the Fox Experiment. Now, I also have the other pieces, so I have the five to six player expansion, and again... Uh, these boards, yes, there are, uh, these boards will not be needed, so I can set these aside. Um, I have two additional uh, dry erase markers. I have another deck of additional uh, fox cards that are going to be, looks like it's a mix between the ones you write on and the ones you don't write on. I have more dice of each type to accommodate the five and six players. I have more tokens of the round tokens to accommodate five or six players. Uh, another, a gray color of foxes. Two more scoring tokens. More stars. Um, more of the uh, tokens you will use with the dice to do successes. A fifth and sixth player scoring marker. And then the white, uh, white fox pieces. <clears throat> Uh, I believe all of this, all of this, will actually fit into the base box, uh, which I will do at some point, so I can get rid of this box. And then the last thing I have are the play mats. Uh, so let's get those opened up. All right, so I have the uh, five to six player uh, neoprene play mats. So this is the, your your board, and there are one, two, three, 
four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Am I missing one? No, yeah, there it is. Six. Uh, the six player mats for up to six players. So those are the nice little neoprene mats. And then we have two player mats, uh, one for the one, one to three, two to four players, and the second one for the five and six player one. Uh, the, obviously not double sided, uh, but it is nice that they had two separate mats for that. Um, these will not fit into the base box unless uh, supposedly unless you remove the plastic insert that's in there then you can get all of this into one box uh, I'm probably not going to do that I'll probably just kind of keep these separate in this this box that they came in um, and just beside the the game but I will definitely get the five to six player expansion into <clears throat> Uh, into that base box and probably just pitch these cardboard tokens I would imagine um, put them in the recycling I think those can be recycled um, but anyways that is the uh, the Fox experiments uh, the Kickstarter deluxe edition so to speak um, actually really looking forward to playing this because I've seen the playthroughs of it and I'm it looks like it's a lot of fun uh, looks a little thinky but uh, that's okay uh, all right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.